please start the clocks. Remember how it all started at FIDE World Chess Geneva Grand Prix. In the first round, Timur Rajabov quickly grabbed the lead with two wins. And it was only in round 5 when he was joined at the top by Grishuk and later by Hare Krishna. Well, in round 7 he decided that it's time to be the sole leader again. Rajabov's choice of English opening worked perfectly for him got a comfortable advantage and an easy game. My opening choice was quite clever, uh, even though it looks uh, very strange from, from, the first, uh, uh, from, from the first view, but um, uh, the idea was to play some kind of slightly better position or maybe just even around equal, but with some chances to press because my game is easy, so I analyzed it uh, this morning. Rajabov gradually increased his advantage and used the inaccuracies of his opponent to convert it into win. My position is so pleasant to play and Peter doesn't have so much time there and it's like very easy for me to go like a snake, you know, around and a6 is hanging, c5 is hanging. It's very hard to play with black. Other two leaders, Hari Krishna and Grishuk, made a draw. Grishuk again played some new idea in the opening and comfortably equalized. Maybe Black could pose even more problems for his opponent, but it didn't happen. The end game is probably slightly better for Black. I mean, at least White's position has much more danger in it. I mean, if Black manages to consolidate, White, White will be in trouble. But this knight is always jumping. I mean, and the problem is. You don't know where is it going to jump, to d3, to c4, or maybe back to a4. So I got confused, but maybe I just didn't have anything. It was a very intense game on board 3 between Mamidyarov and Nipomnishi. It was full of tactical complications. Mamidyarov was in his element and he even went for a very interesting idea with sacrificing his queen for a rook. But the initiative was not enough for more than a draw. It was a very interesting game for, from my side because uh, I was really impressed with this idea of queen takes d5. And uh, well, uh, actually I saw this idea, but I thought, okay, if, well, if I'm losing after this, okay, so at least I mean it's not some, it's not some boring game into some bad position. Elyanov suffered two losses in a row, but managed to pull himself together against Salem Saleh. After winning this game, he's back to 50%. It was the fifth consecutive round when Alexander Rizantsov finishes his game last. What a stubborn and physically well-prepared player he is. This time he was white against Li Chao. In a roughly equal endgame, Rizantsov proved that he won't lose his concentration even on the seventh hour of play. He won the game and now joins the upper side of the table with four points. All other games finished in draws and didn't change the tournament situation that much. With two rounds to go, Timur Rajabov is again a sole leader with five points. He's closely followed by Grishuk and Hari Krishna with four and a half points. This tournament is also very, very important for Shahriar Mamidyarov, who is the leader of overall Grand Prix series after two legs, has four points and can still catch the leaders.